Well, when we think of farming here in Florida, the first crops that come to mind are oranges and strawberries. But some farmers in Florida are looking to grow their bottom line by expanding into other crops. And we sent out ABC Action News reporter Michael Poliska to taste an alternative fruit that scientists and farmers hope will take off. I'm standing at a blackberry farm run by the University of Florida, and it's pretty incredible that these blackberries are growing here. It is an emerging crop, and really, these aren't native to Florida, so they've been going around to surrounding states trying to find different types of varieties that can handle our weather and our climate, and it's proved successful so far. Rows and rows of blackberries, one variety could hold the key to Florida's next big cash crop. Florida winters are mild and getting warmer, and that's a big problem because blackberries need a certain amount of cold hours. What happens if you don't get that chill? You don't get any berries. Gene Altman has a few acres of blackberries at his Hernando County farm, growing them for years, but he says it is not easy. How is it growing them in Florida's climate? Fun. <laughs> if you want to call fighting funguses, pathogens, insects, cold, heat. I do. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. It's always a challenge. Warm winters, a warm springs cause a lot of problems for producing blackberries. Altman attended a conference to learn what the science says about the best varieties for Florida. So we have some experimental varieties or cultivars. So we have been testing them. So I want to give them, you know, an update so that they can know, you know, what to expect. Sanao Deng is a professor of environmental horticulture at the Gulf Coast Research and Education Center. He says every blackberry on the vine represents years of research. Because the blackberries, they uh, need maybe two weeks to six weeks of cold days you know, temperatures below 45, but above freezing temperature. If farmers can grow blackberries to scale at higher temperatures, they can diversify their crops, increase yields, and not have to ship them in from all over the country. For major suppliers like Wish Farms, it gives Floridians access to the freshest local berry. We looking for innovation, whether it's super innovative like uh, pine berry or just a better variety, a better tasting, better shipping less loss for the supermarket and more profit to the grower. In Waimama, Michael Paluska, ABC Action News.